Hello everyone, this is Sonam. Today in this video we have we will discuss about how to create an instant cloud flow on Power Automate. In our previous video, we have discussed about how to create an automated cloud flow and also we have seen that uh, how to share this uh, flow and turn up this flow. In, in this video, we will discuss about how to create an instant cloud flow and also we will discuss about what is the instant cloud flow starting with instant cloud flow and create an instant cloud flow to send notification via Microsoft Teams. Before that, first we will discuss what is instant cloud flow. As the name suggests, it will create an instant cloud flow that automates the process with a button tap and the trigger the flow manually as needed. It allows the user to use flow from mobile app or desktop such as we can create a reminder to the team or a group with a push button notification push button from the mobile app. The instant cloud flow are little bit different from the automated cloud flow. They are activated manually such as when user clicks on the flow button in a mobile app thus the instant cloud so the instant cloud flow is known as a button flow. For example, it sends an email with contact info For example, it sends an email with contact information only when the user taps a button. As an example, at a certain period, the manager wants to send a notification to HR via notif Teams. In that situation, in we can create an instant cloud flow and that will send notification when the flow triggers. This process is known as manually trigger a flow. Uh, the instant cloud flow works like this. When someone, uh, when someone uh, send a notification via instant cloud flow, it will come like this. It is a uh, sample. I just uh, attach this image. Uh, next, we will see how to create an instant cloud flow. Let's see an example. So here, I just log in my uh, Microsoft ID with my office uh, office dot com. So and. It will open my of user i just log in with my office id then go to the app launcher and it will show that our power automate application and open it click on that and it will open a new tab so i just open i have already opened my uh, power automate platform uh, so go to to create the flow we have to go uh, that create option or you can go to that mind flow here is, there is in under the new flow you can get that instant cloud flow option or you can go that directly you can go to create and here is the instant cloud flow option click on that and as we are creating a manually trigger uh, when we trigger it then it will run the flow so i just select that trigger and give a name send notification via team click on create it will create uh, it will create the yes it will build the trigger and click on add uh, there is an option add an input so when we click on that it will show that inputs that are available in the instant instant cloud flow trigger you can use the text yes no file email number and date so first we will as we are creating a flow that will notify the you notify the manager or uh, or some upper level user to that will the when they give it we are going to create a not, uh, flow that will notify the you notify the manager that the given task is completed by a particular date and by this person specific person so in that for this scenario, we have to need insert some uh, inputs, their text and another one is in which date, so we need to date input and another one is uh, email, so that they can get the person's email. Let's modify it by clicking double click, you can modify the name, so I just modify uh, every uh, each name like uh, this one is task name uh, 
and this one is ended so that the user manager can know how when the task is completed and the person's email or we can type the person email and then as we inserted our one input then next go to that new step and uh, as we are sending the notification via microsoft team so we just see like uh, search the microsoft it will microsoft so it is just showing us here the connector under the connector we can get that uh, post messages so post messages we will set that flowbot and post is as chat with flowbot and it will show yeah here we can insert a person name or email address uh, that you, who uses the microsoft team so for example i have a test user so i will insert this test user in name it will automatically show uh, his email address i can see that yes here it is I click on that then you can insert uh, the message box as using the dynamic content here it is dynamic content and you can use the dynamic content from here and insert like hey the task okay the assign task so that manager can understand it very clearly so the assign task uh, the assign task like in i will notify i will just highlight this task as a bold so i just select it then click it low bold and put it okay click keep the cursor inside that and then okay so as our task yeah it is task name so we will insert the task name here the dynamic content from the dynamic content okay task name then the assign task is completed has been completed by the person email so that by person email on date for the we will insert the date end date and the date is the current date it is the end date that we have inserted if you use that date then it will take the current date so yes and that's it our flow is ready now so we just save it as there is no issue so it is coming as green color otherwise it will color uh, coming as red color or uh, a warning and in flow checkup no, there is no error and no warning so let's test it manually test as we didn't test it before so just for the first time we have to insert it and it will sign in in now it will checking that connector is connected or not if the everything is okay then it will select it is coming as a green tick otherwise it will coming as a red cross and yes valid connection the connection is valid it notify us then click on continue yes, it will ask to the task name end date and person email so task name for example automated sorry uh, we will see instant uh, power automate instant cloud flow so i just uh, give a task name create documentation on power automate cloud flow and then uh, if i insert an end date so that 
manager or uh, team lead can understand so one person email so who is i just insert my name shonam sorry then once we inserted the data then click on run flow and done now we can see the run uh, it is notify us that your run, your flow ran successfully that means flow is run and we can get that notification on user 2 so let's check that user 2 option so let's check the user 2 teams so i have just opened my user 2 here it is noti notified that person in user 2 we can get that notification the assigned task create document documentation instant class flow has been completed by sonam on that email address we have it will take the email address automatically and the date we have just inserted this is how we can we can create an instant cloud flow and instantly we can send notification via microsoft team similarly we can send a not email and also many more we can send an mobile notification send an email in our coming videos we will discuss about how to create an instant cloud flow by email, uh, or send notification by email or send notification or reminder by mobile application mobile and many more and in our next video we will see how to create a scheduled based uh, scheduled based flow so that it will if, uh, send a notification or send email or reminder the send a reminder by um, by taking it a specific period or in a period it will send notification in a specific period gap that we have mentioned so in this video we will discuss how to create an instant cloud flow and how to operate it and how to send a notification via mobile the uh, power instantly how to create a notification to microsoft team if you like my video just uh, click subscribe our channel youtube channel to get more videos about sharepoint power automate and power apps and power bi python machine learning and many more and thank you so much for thank you so much guys for your time like share and subscribe to our youtube channel